But just another point of introduction is, you know, I want to just say that, you know, this sermon series, this, this sermon today, it's for everybody. You know, this is for everybody to learn and, 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 and figure out and, and to internalize and to study because a lot of people might be thinking, you know, why is Victor preaching on dating on a Sunday morning? Don't you know that there are married people here? This doesn't apply to everyone. Like, why not, why not have like a, a young adults meeting or a singles meeting or a singles camp? And there, that's when you preach about dating and you preach about courtship. No, no, don't, don't tune out just because you think this sermon doesn't apply to you, because it does apply to you. You know, the Bible says all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and instruction in righteousness. So we need to know these things because maybe one day a young person will come to you and ask you, what do you think about dating and courtship? What, what, what should I do in this situation? They might not always come to me. You know, so you need to know what is right and wrong so that you can give them the right instruction in righteousness. And, you know, if, if more parents took that on board, instead of leaving the instruction of their young people to the bishops and pastors and deacons and Sunday school teachers, we wouldn't, maybe we wouldn't be in the situation we are in now in the world or even in churches where Christians are just following the dating practices of the world and they're falling, well not falling, they're diving into fornication and all the problems associated with that, all the heartbreak if sermons like this were preached on Sunday morning and parents took the time to listen and to learn so that they could instruct their, their young people and their children how to uh, date and court um, a wife or a husband the right way. So, you know, maybe young people would have avoided the pitfalls of fornication when they asked their parents about dating and their parents took the time to listen to sermons like this one in church so that they could counsel their children instead of leaving it up to um, the people at church. Proverbs 4 7, wisdom. Let me show that quickly. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. So yeah, this sermon may not apply to you directly, meaning you, know, you may be married and already passed that period already, or um, you, know, you may be single and not looking, but it still applies to you in the sense that you need to learn this because you know, the Bible is still the Word of God, and somebody might come to you for advice and ask your opinion, and you want to give them the right answers.